Good evening, everybody. Good evening. And welcome to Chinwag number 100. I don't know why I'm saying good evening to you. I look you at look, you, you and say good evening. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, you got to look at the camera. <laughs> I keep on not looking at the camera. <laughs> good evening. Welcome to Chinwag number 107. Oh. Um, on this lovely evening. Mm-hmm. It's kind of lovely. I mean, you know. Kind of. The house is nice and warm. It's a little bit chilly in here, though. Yeah. That, see, that's the thing. Everyone thinks that we t- don't turn the heating I on. I know. No, we've yeah. had the heating on. The like. heating's on, but it just doesn't yeah. warm up in this particular part of the house. It doesn't. So we're always a bit cold. Yeah, in there is underfloor heating. But in we don't here, turn but we that don't on. We don't turn it on. No, we don't turn that on, I'll be honest. Because yeah, it's we don't turn that ex- on. Extortionate. It just feels like a. I don't know. It's extortionate. It seems, it yeah. seems like a bit of a waste. Yeah, it's yeah, not good value. you get nice warm, toasty feet. But, but then, then the rest like of it's still not... like it's still cold. Like, it takes a while for it to heat the room up. Um, yeah. Well, Pete, Peter Ray is in the chat. Hi, Peter. How are you? Thank you for popping in. And Hello. Pete's Retro Collectibles as, as well. Hi, Pete. How are you? Thanks. It says, hi, Zubex. Yeah. Hi there. Good evening, guys. Thanks for joining yeah. us. So, yeah, we just thought we'd pop on for our weekly chat. It's been mm-hmm. one of those kind of uh, weeks... Um, no, you've you've been having a bit of a twitchy eye going on, haven't you? Yeah. Is, is that gone, do you know? No, I think it's just stress. Is it's it? It's just been tw- twitching a bit. Yeah, you know, and it's one of those things where yeah, it twitches. Yeah, it's where I can see it twitching, but no yeah. one else can. Yeah. You, it, it feels like really fast. You think like it's fast. yeah. You think it's doing this, yeah. but it's not. But it's really not. not yeah. No, to, to anyone else, it just looks it like. It just looks yeah, normal. It looks normal. <laughs> yeah. Um, to me, it just looks like. It just feels yeah. Like, oh. So to you, it's feeling like oh, it's like yeah. it must be looking like you're a crazy scientist. It, yeah, it doesn't. We really do it all the time, but it has been doing it a lot this yeah. week, and yeah, mm. so it's not something great. Yeah, I've been overall. feeling a bit sorry for myself as well. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had a headache today, haven't I? Yeah. A bit, a bit bunged yeah. up, not feeling good. You well, know, I haven't just... heard the end of it actually. What do you mean you've not heard <laughs> the end of it? And I left the house for a bit. Yeah, well, I had to tell Went someone to about my problems. I, as soon as I get in the car, ah, oh, this headache. The thing is, right, he was moaning all morning about his headache, right? I'm just going to put this out. <laughs> okay. He was moaning all morning about this headache. And it's I was a like, bad headache. I was like, have you taken any paracetamol? And he went, no, I should take some. I didn't think of it, did I? And then I've taken, <laughs> I've taken. Wait, well, it's not Paris season. No, I've taken four aspirin. aspirins today. No. Four aspirins. You know, yeah, I, I try so. not to medicate. You know, because I, I do look after myself, as you can tell. My body is your a temple. body is you know, quite frankly a temple. It is yeah. a te- it is a temple. Yeah. Like, you know, so only the finest. Only the finest ingredients. Yeah. Finest fried chicken. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, so yeah, it just been feeling a bit. I just wanted to moan to you guys as well yeah. about it. Clearly, so this has started off well. We yeah. kind of moaned a little bit to about begin how with. bad we're feeling. Yeah. Um, we'll say a few hellos. Dave Rowland says hello, my dear. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Um, Barry has joined us as has Sandis eighty one hundred. Mm-hmm. Hi there. Hello. Shazad says hi. Thank hi Shazad. How are you? Um, Ash, I'm the legend, is in as well. Says hi, Stephen Bennett. Lincoln Seller says good evening. Hey, Catherine hey. McConnell, hi. MM Antiques and Collectibles, howdy. Um, Sparrows N says I'm here for the RC. See, we oh. put it in the title. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking not to. You know? <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. Um, it's N- what we do, apparently. N Parker says hi. Um, Flipping Fantastic Fine says evening all. Joel yes. says hi. BCP says, oh, is it on? Hi, everyone. Yes. Um, Magic 10 Slots says hi as well. Hello. Uh, we've got Tap Peddler John Morris, The Welsh Wonders, <laughs> Laura Eccleston Siebel, um, and, uh, well, yeah, Barry says, living with you. I'm not surprised that you get the twitches sometimes, <laughs> says Barry. <laughs> Yeah, it's just been one of those weeks, I think. Yeah. I think, I, do you know what it is, right? I, I started my job in July, like beginning of July, and I'm pretty much working full-time hours for them, and I haven't had a holiday from work at all. And I think I'm just tired. That, that's down. the thing. That's actually I a think good that's point. All it yeah, is. You, like when when you went in into work in June, mm. we didn't think that you'd be working. And some of the yeah. days, some of the weeks, I've actually done six days for them as well because we've had the, like the flu clinics at work, and then I've just offered to do another bunch of overtime as well. So it's just I think it's just a build up. 
Yeah, it's See, probably just tired, just a bit of tiredness. And like yeah. last week, we popped down south as well, oh, yeah. which which took a bit yeah. of energy at the weekend. Another, another busy weekend We're this weekend. Popping weekend. out this weekend yeah. as well. Um, so yeah, um, my my temple is a body. I keep it in the freezer. <laughs> um, and Dave Rowan asked Rebecca, "Have you ever seen a temple?" <laughs> Only the only <laughs> only this temple. <laughs> what other temple would you need to I know, see? Right? Right? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like come on. <laughs> this is the only temple I need to see, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um I s green drinks will help sustain this and Ash says, think I'm the only person who has never taken paracetamol or ibuprofen. I ibuprofen. I'm saving it for when I'm old and need it, says Ash. Very I funny, think, Ash. I had an that? aspirin, Ash, right? So, you know, <laughs> So there. Yeah. I was really digging at me about my age, man. I'm not you, 80, you whatever it is. You're quite old. What? You're not exactly a spring chicken. I know that. Yeah, you just look it. It's different. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're the same age, pretty much. There's only six um, months there's between six us. Six months difference. Six months. So how can you call me old? Anyway. <laughs> I you quite old. Diesel Engine says, hello, listening while fixing a skid steer at work. Oh, that's fantastic, ah. Diesel Engine. Sounds cool. Um, RJ says, looking chilled. And Mass is in the chat as well. Um, By the way, says Peter Ray, my latest, my latest video from the last vlog from the Horton Country Park is up on my channel. Enjoy. Mm. Okay, Horton Country Park. What's that? Not even, I don't know. Is it like an a uh, like a country park, like you said? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> I was trying to figure out what it was. A country I park. I guess it, it? it's what it says. Yeah. Country park. Horton here's a who. Um, I'm the legend. There'll be plenty left, you know. Says me. <laughs> retro collectible. Um, okay. No such thing as niche unless you truly only stock that type of product. Your core product is RC says well, if you wonders. That's a good point. Actually, that's talking yeah. about the topic. That is. Yeah. Right, uh, hold on. We... Barry says you need to dye your hair. Um, me and Z are about the same age, says Shazad. See? But he probably looks younger than I do. <laughs> because I'm, I don't know, maybe. I've not seen Shazad, but I'm guessing he looks younger than I do because. He's doing a hell of a lot better than we are at the moment, so I can only assume. I'd be pretty chilled if I was doing those numbers. But um, by the way, she's out. I just wanted to say thank you very much for for sending me the message about the store. I really appreciate the feedback. Um, what is open? I, to I don't know feedback? if we've said yeah. hello to Karen, but hello, Karen. Hi, Karen. How I can are see you? See your name in the chat. Barry still needs to dye my hair. I'm not dyeing my hair. Um, Welsh Wonder says I'm four years younger than the wife, but somehow everyone thinks she's years younger than me. We've had a hard life, see, says Welsh. Exactly, exactly. That's all it is. Everyone thinks I'm like ancient, and um, you know, I'm you're not... still older than me. Six months. So? That's not a lot. It's not even a year. It's, not, it's half a year. Do you know what? I think some of it's the weight as well, though. I will say, I think some of it's yeah. the weight. If I lose, it does make you look. Old. When I lose the weight, I will look younger. Yeah. I will look younger. Yeah. You know? But it might be too much for you to handle. Yeah. You because know? then they'd just be like, just saying. Just, just leave that there, shall I? Yeah. Shall we move on? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Right. It's a nature area near where I live, Z. Like many. Um, walks you can go on not far oh, from okay. not far from Hook Road Car Boot ah okay so it's all kind of green and exp yeah. ah, that sounds, that sounds cool. down south that's got to be very very helpful yeah. oh she likes the old <laughs> man <laughs> watching in a food coma after Thanksgiving round two the leftovers no. MS. yes by the way a happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the chat that is from um, the United States who's obviously been celebrating Thanksgiving and spending time with their family yeah so yeah uh, you know sometimes I forget I, you know what Ash I would ban you for that comment <laughs> 80s the new 30s -y. very funny <laughs> just Dear. Okay, grey in men is attractive in my opinion, says Karen sells clothes. Use my lines, you are as <laughs> old as the person you feel. Um, the way Bex looks at you, Z, is priceless. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I don't know why you do that, to be honest. 
Like, why did you look at me like that? Yeah. What's your problem? <laughs> when you lose just... weight, you'll be the youngest looking at your <laughs> Very funny, Barry. <laughs> Z Tylenol is best for headaches. I didn't think anyone uses aspirin for headaches anymore, only for a stroke or something in Canada anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why I took aspirin. I think it's because it, I've always been told it thins the blood. Mm -hmm. And like, I've, you know, I thought like, you know, I could do with thin blood because <laughs> I'm not thin. So I thought at least if my blood was thin, you know, <laughs> it, might, it might help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll just go there, shall we? LGU says, I thought 90. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Right. Um, yes, talking about our topic. Yeah. Talking about our topic. We'll get on to it. Like, we're chilled out. I'm not going to, like, stress over it, you know? I'm not going to stress over it. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, did she no. find you on Sugar Daddy? Do when we met, the internet was barely a thing. <laughs> It was barely around. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that it was barely around. Well, we were on dial-up. We, yeah, dial we, yeah. we were on dial-up. It was on dial-up. Yeah, we were on dial-up. It would take yeah. you like ages yeah. to I load I was a illegally page. downloading MP3s, which would take yeah. ages, like five meg MP3, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, um... <laughs> very funny. Um, the, the medical knowledge is priceless, says Shazam. <laughs> well, you know, uh, yeah, come here if you want the finest medical knowledge, definitely. No, don't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I swear it thins the blood. I don't know how that's meant to help me, but we'll, we'll go for it anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, aspirin is an old buzzing thing. Any petrol car Z in recent haul, I had to take aspirin in pregnancy, then um, thin blood, nose bleeds galore. Ah, there you go. So ah. thins the blood. Yeah, there you go. Um, did you <laughs> take aspirin because Bex gets free samples from work? No, I don't get free samples from work. <laughs> And I don't understand why he takes aspirin either. Like I said, it makes my blood thin. It's good, isn't it? And it's like all dynamic. Yeah. Probably all like going around the system or like, yeah. you know, like sleek. I imagine it being like sleek and, <laughs> you know, like Ash, I'm not thin. So I was like, Ash. <laughs> very funny, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> the MSN messenger days. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. tunes on LimeWire. Yeah. Very true Welsh wonders. Um, Illegally downloading Edison wax cylinders. I'm not that old. <laughs> uh, but okay. Yes. Anyway, shall we? Uh, shall we move on now? Move on? Now that we've set the medical world yeah. straight, I think we should move on to. Oh, uh, actually, we're going we to put the equal the topic, amount of knowledge into the topic. What's the before topic? Before we move on to the topic. Okay. Um, Miss Chick Cells, who is on Instagram. Um, Miss Chick Cells. Yes. Okay. On Insta. Okay. Check now. You're gonna Sorry. check. You're not sure. <laughs> no, it is. It's Miss Chick. Yeah, Miss Chick sells. Okay. okay. Now, um, earlier this year we went to a a Northwest meetup, um, and it was held in Liverpool. Um, Miss Chick is organising another one, but it's for Christmas. It's next week on Friday the thirtieth of November. Sadly, we're not gonna make it. So, as it stands, as yeah. it stands, yeah. okay. Um, I don't know if I can. Oh, I can. There we go. So I don't know if you've been able to see that on my phone. Yeah, let it just let it that, Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, it's focused. Okay, there. so they're doing a Northwest reseller Christmas uh, party, Friday the thirtieth of November, Liverpool. So there's going to be drinks at the Head of Steam, which was really really nice place actually, wasn't it? Um, enjoyed going there, and then they're going to be doing a meal at I can't read that Lunia at, at 6, 6 p.m. PM. Now, she said a few people counsel on her, so she asked if I would, um, if we could sh shout out on the on the channel this evening. Um, so if you are interested in going and around um, to and the Liverpool yeah, area or the northwest, the northwest or Liverpool area, um, go and find Miss Chick Sales on Instagram and send her a message, and she will give you. I think details. it's really cool that meetups are happening it's so really, regularly you know now. What? Yeah. It's, if w to be quite honest, if I wasn't working, I probably would be yeah. bugging to here to kind we, of go. We're thinking um, maybe we could. It depends, but it will be tough because of the time you finish it's work. It's really tough because you even, don't finish till even six thirty. Yeah. At like this time is hard. Eight thirty. Yeah. We struggle to even get on 
on here on time. Yeah. So to it's get just, down to Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. So it would just be like so. Yeah. It would be very tight, wouldn't yeah, it? So, yeah. But it's um, be yeah. And... So if anyone is in the area, um. Yeah. yeah, well worth popping over. And it's just really nice to it's see really, how many meetups are happening in general. It is really nice to meet up with people, have a good chat, have a drink, and, you know, enjoy Exactly, yourself. exactly, so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, if, if you're in the northwest, it's something to think about um, going to. It will be a lot of fun. Um, right, evening or am I on the wrong channel? Is this medics.com? No, we, we've dealt with <laughs> no, all of that. we've done all we've the dealt with all that, side. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Shazad says, I've been on Amazon for 15 days and done £2,094. Start as you mean to go on, Shazad. It's, it, you know what? I will say that it's amazing how having that... Um, I don't know, having, like, obviously your niche there. It's like a niche, isn't it? It, mm -hmm. it, it just shows the power of it, I suppose, when you're in, in a certain market and you know it really well. Um, I think that's something that we could discuss is like when you're when you're reselling most of us start at car boots and at auctions and at charity shops where you can only resell what's in front of you but it's definitely interesting when you see things like what shazaz achieving there um that if you do actually get deep into a particular market mm -hmm. you're only going to increase your knowledge in there aren't you and you're gonna you're gonna kind of get better at knowing what sells what doesn't sell um, what you should be buying and it, that's got to be such mm -hmm. a powerful um, benefit I think and the, you know in a way it's what's kept us trying the um, trying the RC stuff and we're still learning a lot with the RC stuff as well not everything is going to be brilliant that we buy but um, you know we like the overall niche I think like yeah. models basically radical models mm -hmm. there's definitely a demand for it isn't there um, yeah. so it, it makes well, sense. Well, that's what yeah. we found. Anyway. That's what we think anyway. So, um, you know, it's one of those things to think about. Um, right. Um, keep phone there for stream covers. See, lol, says Marcel. <laughs> um, okay. Damn, money is too tight this time of year to go that far, says Karen. Yeah, no, Karen, I, I, I think yeah, it's mostly going to be people it's... that are from the Northwest. It will be such a big ask to, yeah, it, yeah. you know. Um, Sean says she's had damn you it's my second month on Amazon and only done 3,000 that's not only um, you must have more stock than me and doing this how long have you I'm on 300 items now Sean you're doing really well considering you're mm. holding down a full time job as well you know it's not always wise to directly compare yourself to others because everyone's situation is different yeah um, absolutely right sold a shirt on Amazon merch today says Dave We've never sold one, and I'm really gutted about that. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think we've paid enough attention to it. Yeah. To be quite honest, to actually get into it properly, because I think we're just, yeah, we just haven't done our research enough, and you know, really, really done a good no. design. Really, no, we, we haven't. We, exactly. we just haven't been in into it and i think that's what? really quite sad because i know some it's people a good are doing really and it's a well stream another it. stream of income isn't yeah. it and i wish we had but it's another opportunity Maybe we'll look at it again, yeah but. at the moment it's an opportunity mm -hmm. that's gone begging hasn't yeah, it so it has, that's absolutely. the way we, we have to be honest about it yeah. um it, uh, things like merch when they appear and especially when there's so much information out there mm -hmm. Um, we actually had Jay um, from Jay and Callum talk to us as well about it. And, you know, they were obviously doing so well with it. It's a shame that we didn't really take the bull mm -hmm. by the by its horns, to be honest. Um, right. Um, let's go down. She's added Salisbury, says Welsh Wonders. Zaheer, did you get the Amazon issue sorted, says RJ? Um, no. no. It, it, as <laughs> far as we're aware, it's as gone. Far as, yeah, as yeah. As far as we're aware, unless they contact us and say, yeah. "Oh, we've magi magically found, found it,", it yeah. um, no, but they've not even compensated as as, us in as far any as way. They're concerned, it's yeah. been dealt with. It, yeah, it wasn't there in the first place, is what. Um, yeah, they're saying so. So basically, they're saying what we didn't send up the item is what they're saying, which is not true, but. Um, we have to just take it. Mm -hmm. Turnover isn't profit. Small turnover at seventy percent or huge with ten percent. It's all relative, says Pete's Retro Collectibles. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true, Pete. Um, turnover isn't the full story. It no. never is. So when you hear turnover numbers, you've always got to be careful. Um, oh, you guys never saw um what Jay and Callum and Jay are doing a thousand a day at the moment. A thousand dollars a day. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. 
That makes I mean, me feel even worse about it. I mean, Jay it. was doing really well last <laughs> yeah. year, wasn't she, with merch at yeah. that time of year? Yeah. So. And to have them talk to us about it and still not do it, mm. that's the ultimate, mm. you know, shame on you moment in a way. Like, I feel... Yeah. Congra- I'm, I'm completely chuffed for them. They deserve it. No, completely. But it just makes me realise even more um, what a missed opportunity that is, that, you know. I mean, because there's so much... I, yeah. I mean... Jay's very. You've got to be good though. She? I think you've got to be. Yeah, I think part of like, it is. She really does research. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be good at things mm. as well, haven't you? You've got to be good at doing these things as well. So, yeah. it's just um, it's just one of those situations. You know, you, you you're gonna have to um. I think there's. It's always easy. Again, it's easy to compare yourself to others and and expect to be able to emulate what others are doing. Jay does have a knack, obviously, for doing this stuff, um, as do a lot of other people. You know, mm-hmm. you've got to have some kind of uh, creativeness in you, mm-hmm. some kind of, um, you know, you've got to have a spark to be able to design. Um, and I don't think necessarily that I've got that. Um, I don't know about mm-hmm. you, but I'm no, speaking for myself. I don't yeah. feel I'm... I don't, feel I don't like, think yeah. I have. I know I like to knit and stuff, but yeah. that's... That doesn't mean that, that you're going to be mean, able to come up with yeah. catchy t-shirts. No. That are, you know, like... The, it just means people, I'm really yeah. good at following a pattern. Yeah. So like, <laughs> but, but, like, whereas with a shirt, you need to guess what someone will want to wear. And not just what yeah. someone. Ideally, you want to be able to guess what people will want to mm-hmm. wear. A lot of people to, to do those numbers. So exactly. that's insane. That so is, credit to those guys. Um, yeah. Wow, that is it's well really eye opening, well. eye opening, and without all the hassle of physical stock and mm-hmm. oh, the that that is the thing with with all that merch stuff. It's just it's got so many advantages as well. Yeah. Um, well, wow, well, I've got to just um, take that on the chin and move yeah. on. Really, um, uh, Sean says I was selling one pound calendars for six pound plus on Amazon. First two weeks were crazy. 90% Amazon fee and I even posted first class £1.40 so they got it next day. Now I stopped ordering and sellers fighting each other. Okay, what you, is there like a race to the bottom for, mm. for that, I guess? Um, last month was my lowest turnover on eBay this tax year by £400 but my profit was £100 higher and that's what matters to me, not how much I take, how much I make. Very, very good point, Karen. Um, it is very yeah. good. For your lowest turnover month to actually um, it actually give you increased profits, that's a, a really nice way to look yeah, at things. Yeah, that is. Um, and it's what matters, you're right. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. you don't eat your profits. You know, it's it's all about the, the actual... Um, sorry. You don't eat your turnover is what I was going to say. It's your turnover is just is not going to feed you. It's your, it's your profits. Um, vintage Vandal says, I picked up two vintage Tamiya um, late 80s Terra Scorcher and Thundershot. Many parts required, says Vintage Vandal. Oh, that's a shame, Vintage Vandal. I don't have many RC parts for Tamiya. Um, no. but, but you'll be able to find parts um, for those all over eBay. Yeah. Um, Tamiya is one of those amazing um, brands which has like the best part support. So mm. you're not going to have any issues finding parts for a vintage Tamiya. Um, I, I don't think ever. Um, there's only finite time. Can't be doing everything all at the same time, says Karen. Very true, but still. Um, okay, I'm doing one to two sales a day, 500 tier now. Callum and Jay put a lot of time in it. 6,000 tier, I think 200 shirts a day. Wow. wow. But the thing is, the beauty of that is, is it's, they, they do put a lot of work in, obviously all the work goes in the upfront, yeah, but then the, then the, the Amazon machinery takes over, doesn't it? It's like, mm. you know, they come up with the idea of the design and then bam. Wow. Yeah. That is incredible. That is incredible. That is. You know, and, but the, the thing is, it's like, it's the benefits of no upfront costs no sourcing no storage the the physical labor is is reduced um south london research says just made four dollars 42 cents with my first merch sale <laughs> congratulations south london reseller well um i sell one shirt design about once or twice a month for a year now all the others are not selling says sandy's yeah that's the thing it's not it, it isn't going to be easy it, no. it, the, there's a lot of good info out there but i think there is um 
you do have to have a knack for it i think from what i can tell there's got to be a knack um you know to to, to work out what people will wear i mean it's very personal isn't it i mean what will people wear um right okay soon first of december so sellers need to get rid of calendars prices are dropping as sellers fight to get rid of them so glad i stopped ordering says sean good point um welsh wonder says i would buy rc if i knew more about it truth is it comes with a steep learning curve and you can easily go down the rabbit hole with it i stick to what i know with big ticket buy says welsh wonders um like anything though isn't it mm. um anything you can get really um, yeah we didn't exactly know like loads about rc when we first mm -mm. got into it I mean, you had a bit of an interest, but again, nothing you major. No, I wasn't like, deep in there, was I? Deep into it, um, and you have had to kind of learn bits On the and job. pieces as yes. you go along as well. Especially when it comes to like testing some of like the used cars, we we need to find out what's wrong with it, and you know, I mean, some of it can be quite straightforward, and you can see like an obvious fault with it, but other times it does take a bit of playing around and. You know, yeah. dismantling. You learn. Of you, you learn on the job. You, you learn on <laughs> the job, and, and, and so we never thought. Yeah, we never. Th we never thought we would be going this deep into it. No. Um, it's it's kind of happened naturally. Um, yeah. you know, after because we didn't even know we were going to have the success we did with the first slot. No, you we know, didn't. We we didn't. We're, we'll be completely honest. And when we first brought that that first bunch of um. RC, we actually thought it was going to be like the die cast uh, models that we purchased that would, you know, be selling like straight away. We didn't actually, although we knew we got a good deal with the RC, we didn't actually realize how much of a good deal we got with it and how well it would actually do for us well, and how much it would change our business. When you as look well. at the, when you look at the parts, the first thing you think is, who on earth is going to want that mm. you know because the parts are so specific they're so specific to you know like it's just you just think to yourself like really like who's gonna yeah. who and out there wants that and, and in some cases nobody yeah. in some honest, cases when, yeah. when we got when we got the um when we got the rc like the thunder tiger stuff it it is vintage parts as well so you know, it part made of it you even, is sitting yeah. there going, are people actually going to want yeah. this? Because it, they are, you know... And there's a gamble parts. involved. We listed so many things. Oh, we, We've we listed really did. Most, uh, the only reason our shop is mm -hmm. at 1,200 listings is because about 1,000 of them are mm -hmm. individual radio control parts. Now, out of that 1,000, mm -hmm. there's loads which have not sold. Yeah. There's loads which have been listed and have not sold. So it's it's one of those situations where like we literally had to go through and list everything um because we didn't have a clue what was going to sell and what wasn't yeah we just didn't know we for all we knew none of it could have sold because these things are specific um and it, but when you, once once we saw the sales started to come through it opened our mind that actually mm -hmm. there is a market and you might have to wait because some of the yeah. parts are obscure but there will come a time where someone will need it and you, you know yeah, and it, we we then have to make the deci decision how long do we keep hold of some of the stock like some of the stock that we've had listed for a year or over a year now actually um do we decide to start kind of moving that stuff you know out of the store um because it hasn't sold for a year or do we give it some more time you know because these parts you never know when it's you know someone's going to break something and need a certain part i mean we've got like screws and you know all kinds of gears and you know things and it's like well how long do we keep hold of it for yeah and and w we are trying to make those decisions right now and and re look at the store as to you know what we w still want listed because it, some of the stuff like sold so quickly i mean there was i think there was one particular pool start sorry i'm probably really annoying you because huh? i'm shaking money um there was one particular pool start that sold just unbelievably quick it was just ridiculous and we were just like wow we wish we had more of those <laughs> yeah <laughs> but and, we had loads and, of them and we've in the had first parts place, we've had parts where we've had like hobby shops 
in other countries buy all our stock all at stock. our price without yeah uh, without yeah. even like sending an offer or anything yeah, yeah they're just like just gone yeah we'll have it because there's a market for them with their hobby yeah. shop um Karen says, so looking at the title, is it more parts or more bigger ticket mm-hmm. cars, etc. You got we did recently get a haul of big ticket items which we're working through. Um, which we do have some cars but mostly mm-hmm. boats. Um we're not sharing that simply because they're really big and bulky to they, share. Yeah, yeah, they are. That's we shared, the only we shared reason like that giant haven't. boat. The, we shared the biggest one, which we got a couple of them, but we've yeah. got a bunch of others. Um and, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have and, it might not it might not be like something that's um uh oh what's the word i can't think of it go on what what are you trying to say the boats the what the boats what about the boats well they're just boats they're boats (laughs) (laughs) boats. no but they're all like different like different sizes yeah yeah what what are you trying to say and i was just I don't know whether they're that interesting. Yeah, they're just boats. Yeah. <laughs> um, when I started, says Shazad, I decided that I was going to totally focus on volume. Um, and I didn't care about margins at the start because I knew I'd make them later on. That's a good way to go. Yeah. Um, Immersed in Nature says, Hi guys, I'm just getting started at reselling. Do you have any tips for what types of things to pick up in charity shops? Love your content, by the way. Thank you, Immersed no, in Nature. That's you. very kind of you to say. Um, the tip that everyone always gives, um, and for a good reason, is start off with things that you have a personal interest in. Yeah. Something that you like to you know something like if you've got a yeah. hobby yeah or if you just like a particular yeah so don't know. don't buy clothing unless you are genuinely and generally into yeah. clothing because you'll just yeah. end up with a pile of yeah. co- clothes in a corner not listening don't buy them. technology or an, an electronics unless you have a passion in it and the, and the reason for that is is all the resellers in the chat here will tell you if you buy something just because it's profitable, it's not always the right move. Um, mm-hmm. In a, If you're dealing with something that's super simple, if you are dealing with new stock mm. that you just have to scan the barcode or it's new package stock that you've got multiples of you then in those cases you don't need to have any affinity or care about mm-hmm. what you're selling. Right. Like, like technically with the RC stuff um, you don't, if you're buying new packets of it or mm-hmm. if you're buying new in box drones or cars you don't need to give a damn about those things because you, you mm-hmm. can just read off the box then you you list it it's easy yeah it's done however when but, it comes to used stuff where you have to actually yeah. take time to test to possibly learn about it yeah. to test something it's good if you've yeah. already got an interest in it yeah. because you won't mind learning what you need to learn to get it tested and know that it's working fully yeah i mean you know it it's not a case of don't pick it up if you don't like it at all but just be willing to be able to do the hard work because some people are going to be disciplined enough to be able to focus on the work and go no i don't i don't care if i've got an interest in this i will list it but then but but then again like me i (laughs) i'm someone that needs to buy things that i like like i've already got a regret i'm going to pass that over to me that bag (laughs) <laughs> we were in. You regret these? Yeah, I regret it already. I, I was I was looking for stock at the charity shop. I'll list them for you. Good. <laughs> I, I was I was looking for stock in the charity shop, and I came across some, some guy had obviously come in, and dumped his or hers whole collection of vintage key rings, right? Mm-hmm. And they 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 did take my fancy a little bit. Um, I, I'll give you an example. God, I've got loads of them. They're all like vintage key rings. So it, there's one from the Farnborough International Air Show. There's um, there's loads of like. There, there are all kinds of different ones. There's, yeah. There's a few. There's a lot of British aerospace ones. Yeah. There's um. That's a, yeah. T- Jaguar fighter jet. Um, there's tornado fighter jet. There's Lucas oil, like vintage yeah. and Lucas just, oil. And there's like loads yeah. of them. Yeah. I don't know what and some that of is. these are vintage, like they're made in England. They're 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 just you know they're just what someone collected. And, and I thought they were cool. Like 
that, that that's a Jetstream 31. So someone that's into old Jetstream yeah. 31 jets will happily pay like a tenner for something like that, I reckon, yeah, so comfortably. Yeah. And I paid 50 pence each for these. And I don't know, I just, I just went through and I picked out all the key rings that I thought were cool. So I don't know, IMI Titanium, Catic. I don't know what that is. I think that might have had something attached to it, but well, cool enough, I don't know. Um, yeah, they got a, a British Aerospace Harrier 2. I don't know, all these kinds of things. And I bought, like, I don't know why I bought them. Boeing, there's like a Boeing one there. So I bought a bunch of these. And there's profit in them because they were only like 50 pence each. And looking online, you could probably get about six to ten pounds sometimes more depending mm -hmm. on what on what it what, is they're all vintage they're mm -hmm. all and they're quite quirky like some of them like the jet stream like the tornado mm -hmm. jet this is like an old school british aerospace one there they're all See, yeah now something but like this, this I, I, yeah, go on. to me is like i would happily list those See, I start. That wouldn't yeah. bother me at all because I. It's not because I have an interest in these these things, but for me, I wouldn't be fussed about list, listing it. I would just get through it and do it. Whereas by the time I got home with them, my excitement for them had run out, <laughs> and I look when I looked through them. I, I looked through them. I, I searched them online. I saw there was profit in them. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's what I thought. Um, what have I got here? Careful. And, and but like I can't now you know they're, they're, they're quite weird ones some of them that's a Rolls Royce one that's a, yeah. um, but I just I already know that that's going to be a struggle for me to list yeah. like it's going to I can't do that so even though there's profit in it mm -hmm. there's none because now that's just sitting there in a bag because you well, know because no, I'll list it well you say that I will <laughs> you say that you but, watch yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's it's just not something I'm you know ugh, yeah. just just I've got no interest in them. Um but yeah, no, but what what Zahir was trying to make is like it's it's always easier when you first starting out, start with something that you like and you know and you enjoy. Yeah. I mean like, like Karen says yuck, electronics would sit there for months for me. Clothing I can list really really quickly. There you go. Yeah. Um, Welsh Wonder says, pick a core product you know you can drill down into, then dabble in everything else. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we are. We've got our core offering, as it were, which is all things RC. Yeah. And then we still go out and pick up... Like, little bits of... Like, well, the that. different things, like the, the knitting machine yeah. stuff. I love that. That was really cool. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I yeah. I enjoyed, like, trying to get that to work as well. So. Yeah. RJ says sold a great 1980s JVC ghetto blaster with a stunner of a machine. Sounds awesome. Um, Pete's Retro Collectibles says, on the other hand, if I got clothes, they would sit in a crumpled pile, never get listed, so I never buy clothes. <laughs> very true. Um, Pete's Retro Collectibles says BAE is very collectible. Yep, I mean, BAE, I, I, that's the thing. I could tell that they were cool, but now I'm just like, oh, why did I buy a bunch of key rings? Like, I couldn't think of anything worse to sit down and oh just the thought of You've it. You've got issues, man. No, but just the thought of it is just like oh. Yeah, but then why buy it in the first place? I don't know because there was because it's why collectible. Why are you your own advice? Because at the time I was like, oh look how cool they are. Look, they at, are cool. that one's got Boeing on it, and that one's got British Aerospace on it. Oh, that one's got like you know a, a, a mm. fighter jet on it, and I was like, oh these are going to be worth some money. I thought. Do you want to show some RC? Yeah, I'll, I'll show some RC. <laughs> um right uh, okay what other comments are there in the chat i buy for my uncle i'll buy for my uncle was in the tornado says karen can you email me the price for the tornado one says karen oh we'll sort you out karen um, i'm sure i've got yeah, a couple can, yeah pink, yeah yeah, yeah i'll uh, ping a couple to, yeah um what else would you list beck says dave she'd list anything yeah i'm i yeah. i don't really struggle with too much I no actually the the one thing I do struggle with is like when we do get the RC cars and like describing that there's some kind of um like defect on it if we do, if we can't get the the part or we can't get it fixed or anything like that I leave that to you that's the one thing I will say is like so if the, if it's anything that needs to go into And also you don't know what the parts are so everything goes in RC others 
other parts. <laughs> well, you know, it's another part. Yeah, but they're different ones. No, no. You know, I, like if drive I know tech, what yeah. it is, yeah. I will try to. So, like, you know, the muffler would go in the yeah. exhaust systems well, and differential would go in... Oh, I have got no clue. ...drivetrain. Well, there you go. You know, uh, you know things like that. Yeah. Are yeah. oh, you could just, just going to pull me up and stuff? No, I'm going to pull you Are up. You? Oh, I could pull you up on a few things. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you could. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thought I would have missed it. Forgot you start a bit later now, says Sue. Oh, thanks for popping in, oh, Sue. Oh, thank you. Um, okay. Sean, Sean bundles for me last chance saloon before I give away says Karen okay um, Shazad says I sell anything as long as I can make money from it it's all about the money lol it is all about the money Shazad you're completely right it is all about the money Um, but I think that when you're dealing with second hand stuff like I can agree with you know like if, if it's new stuff I'm with you I recently sold frying pans at Amazon I'm not I kind of am into frying pans, but I'm a frying pan snob. I like cast iron frying pans, and this was just some some tea fowl rubbish. Or, <laughs> you just yeah, I'm really your mind. into frying you're pans. Like, yeah, you're like I'm not into. No, I actually, love actually. I, I am love into frying, frying pans. pans. You know what? I love cast iron pans. Oh, I love gosh. cast iron pans, and I'm not talking about Le Creuset. Okay, before you start getting Le Creuset, Le Creuset's rubbish. Okay, it's just all it is. Le Creuset. It's cast iron designed for the every everyday user who doesn't want to take the time to season their cast iron mm -hmm. because they come coated in this strong enamel coating and people can use them straight away. Whereas traditional cast iron needs to be seasoned before it's used. And um, I love seasoning a pan and baking it in the oven at a really high temperature and you get this patina and you can cook an egg on it, you can cook anything mm -hmm. on it and it won't stick. Natural, non stick yeah. coating although it does need to do it again we do need to do ours again yeah, yeah. but like yes yeah, so i do like pans but my, my point was i i will sell anything as well when it's new mm -hmm. like you know i sold frying pans at amazon went really well um so i i will sell anything and i think she's out when you're talking i'm um, obviously correct me if i'm wrong but you're talking from the um kind of uh what's the word the angle of of selling predominantly new goods I think when you're selling new goods that you can buy in multiple quantities, um, you're going to be able to be a lot freer with mm -hmm. what you sell because it's a lot easier to process that stuff. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Um, I'm talking about secondhand. Um, secondhand stuff is it's a different ball game. Um, you know, it's just... It, it, it's a completely different ball game, I think. With secondhand, you do have to have some... Um, you do have to have something that interests you about the item, right? You just do. Yeah. Yeah. You you just do. Like, yeah. like how many people out there, if you'd bought like a knitting machine, most, I, I would never have picked it up. I just yeah. wouldn't have picked it up because I knew if it was new. If, however, if the knitting machine was new and sealed in a box, I could because I'd know I wouldn't have to test it. Mm -hmm. I'd be confident it works. It's fine. All the info would be on the barcode or on the, the box, and that's it. Job's mm -hmm. done, right? Simple. I could do that. If it's open, used, suddenly it's a completely different proposition. You've got to then know how to test this thing. Yeah. And then I'm out. I mean, I didn't know how yeah. to test it, but I learned how to test it. Because you it. had passion for the thing, yeah. yeah. But my point is, I wouldn't have needed passion if it was new. Mm -hmm. However, because it's not new, you need passion, because okay. then you need to learn how to test it um that's what i would say yeah she says meanwhile in a pub somewhere a bloke is having a pint telling his mates how he's happy because he's offloaded a load of key rings that he didn't fancy <laughs> no, <laughs> these were actually from a charity shop i bought Stu. so yeah, yeah. but he probably yeah, the yeah. guy in the pub put it in the you know <laughs> yeah exactly to get rid um yeah Okay. Am I right in thinking you're never supposed to wash them, says Karen? Yes. Um, you're not meant to wash a seasoned cast iron pan yeah. with soap. No, um, you're I, just meant to use warm to water. Use warm water, yeah. yeah. And nothing abrasive. If it's seasoned properly, nothing will stick to it. Um, and then you just wash it with warm water and it'll clean up perfectly. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, Beck, are you cold in that holy top? No, I've actually rolled my sleeves up because I'm actually getting warm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I'm tempted to go auctions now. I have a lot of room on grandma shelf and own car again. I could end up with a grandma filled flat, says Karen. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, okay. Shazad says, I have 136,000 listed on eBay now. Question, have you heard of Web Interpret? Yes, Shazad. They are a company that contacts you through eBay. Um, and offer you translation services. Yeah. Um, what they do is they will translate your, if, if they've contacted you, they'll offer you like a, you know, for free, what they'll do mm -hmm. is they will look at your listings and translate them and list them for you on eBay, Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. Mm -hmm. So they will actually translate and list on those native sites, which will mean that you will appear as a, um, like a, a a local seller as it were on those websites so you should get more sales yeah. um it does work from what i've heard um some people said that there were teething problems with the translations but again web interpret would be perfect for someone like shazad because he's selling new items which means his listings are going to be that much simpler they're not going to be as wordy they're not going to need any explanations mm -hmm. um they're going to be new products bam normal blurb job done whereas if you're selling some unique retro item which you which you've crafted a listing for there's more chance that the translation isn't going to be quite as good it's not going to be as easy mm -hmm. so i mean that's what we've been interpreted is tap has sold a nice wagner skillet the other day we had a wagner pan didn't we we did we did have a I wagner pan. The one that we got did we give it to my mum yeah Ma'am. she left it out in the garden man <sighs> she left the wagner yeah. out how could she do that i don't know I have signed up free until December 2019, says Shazad. I, I think for you, Shazad, it will work really well. Um, you know, I think it will work well because you've got new items. Um, Welsh Wonder says, plumbing supplies are my RC. I enjoy everything about it as a product line. And as a result, my listings show more detail and product knowledge naturally. Very true. Um, that's cool to know. Um, how, how, what? I, I don't know. How um, <laughs> I can't read that. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying, Stuart Bell, but okay. <laughs> oh, how many takes did it take you to film this, bro? <laughs> this, I don't. I think that's what it says. I'm not sure, uh. but anyway, I'm just. I'm gonna after reading it out. I'm gonna ignore it now. Um, thirty pound offer for my Rafiki says RJ. Okay, and Stee says, um, oh, is he in Bex? M says, how exactly do you test key rings? Did you say to test key rings? Did I say test key rings? I'm, okay, I might have used that word test, but I, I didn't mean it specifically in relation to the key rings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I meant like just generally when you pick something up that's second hand that you don't like, you know. Um, ignore that. I thought I, thought I was lying, <laughs> trying to be... Zealand guy in the advert. Okay, okay. Stuart. All right. <laughs> I'm confused now, Stuart. <laughs> okay. Um, Hubby has told me to look out for plumbing stuff at local auction. He's a qualified plumber, gas fitter, so knows what they are, etc. Yeah, and I'm sure Nick has sold plumbing stuff in the past as well, hasn't he? Yeah. I think Nick sells plumbing yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, replying to it. Uh, oh, was it on an advert? Oh, okay, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have spoken to them yesterday and they will add my international postage to the price of the item so it will show free PNP, says Shazad. Okay, mm, cool. cool. Well, cool. well, guys, we've already been talking for like <laughs> like an hour. Nearly all of the chat. <laughs> We're going to quickly share we with are. you. <laughs> We're not going to bore you too much with the oh, old... Uh, Tat Dog says, is Tom in this evening or is he in the porch? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what? I couldn't stop laughing earlier. It's so I really bad. I couldn't. Yeah. For those of you that don't know. To hear Cordy when I did actually have to ask a question, didn't I? He's got clothes on. <laughs> you know, just in case he had, you know, gone out to pick up the milk or, you know, gone to I the know. door, like, shut Poor himself Tom. in the porch. For those of oh, you that man. don't know, Tom, <laughs> I'm sure everyone knows now, but... Oh, what, a, what a day. I really hope yeah. he got out of yeah. the porch. Locking himself in his own porch, man. That's a classic. Um, <laughs> I okay. want to know what his wife said to him. I don't know. 
Um, <laughs> Immerse in Nature says, thanks for the tips. I think I've made my first reselling mistake today. Oh, well, at least I've learned early. Do you know what? There's m- mistakes, no shame in making yeah, mistakes. And mi- mistakes are... Um, mistakes <laughs> are just... See them as lessons they're not necessary mistakes you see them as like a lesson like you've paid to learn something mm-hmm. if, if you've made a mistake um then you know just see it as uh it's a it, it's the price you've paid to learn something to, as long yeah. as you learn from it it's it's fine yeah um right um i don't think much of this q4 malarkey says billy brian q4 well, will only happen if you've prepared for it billy yeah, um we, we yeah. don't actually prepare for q4 so we don't really see a massive increase in our sales at this t- time of year to be quite honest um if anything we may see a bit of a drop in them <laughs> yeah because we don't prepare for it that's we- not to say that we shouldn't be preparing for it because if we do want to continue to have good sales then we should be pe- preparing for it and having the right kind of stock but you know it is what it is yeah, I mean, you've got to, like with anything, if you want to sell at Christmas, you've got to have stock that mm-hmm. people want to buy at Christmas. You know, like, are we going to be shocked if we see a, a dip in sales in our RC stuff at Christmas? No, because I wouldn't expect people to be buying, you know, people CVD shafts or or gaskets or... I don't know suspension springs for the, for Christmas presents. They're just not going to do it, are they? Mm-hmm. It's they're going to be buying that stuff for themselves. So yeah. if we get sales, like the sales we're getting at the moment, are people buying for themselves? Yes, we've had the odd occasion where someone has said, "I bought this pull starter as a birthday present." I mean, you but know, they may have done. They may have done, they but it's a lame done. present to give someone. Um, Tom's video was hilarious as Steve. Yes, guys, if you haven't already seen it, go yeah, to Tom go the to English Tom's Picker's channel, channel and just have a laugh at his expense. No. Poor guy. I but really was, do feel for Yeah, him, it was funny. Um, so, yes. Right. Uh, <laughs> <what? laughs> just Stu Mandry's comment. Do you think we should post Tom some <laughs> toast? <laughs> Just in case you get it by Tuesday. I'm sure he's out by now. I'm sure he's out. I haven't oh. I haven't spoken to him no. yet, but like I'm sure no, he's hopefully out. Hopefully he's yeah. out of his porch. Yeah. Okay guys. I saw a comment saying graphs. There are no graphs this week. We've just not had a chance to do them, Karen. Um sales have been pretty pants, so yeah, sales there wouldn't have been, been much pretty. to see. Um, um yeah, sales have been I don't bad. Know what our figures have been yeah, they've been bad. Week. Our sales have been really bad this week. I they, they've this dropped. Week. I think we did about five or six hundred. I think something like that mm-hmm. in seven days. So sales have not been good. We're not doing graphs. It will just make us feel sad. Um, so, uh, it, but it happens. It happens. You know, we luckily we did have some nice sales on Amazon, which kind of has made up for it. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Well, are we going to show any RC? Um, yeah, we're going to show the RC. We're going to show the RC. So, you know, we're going to um, do that. Um, I find January one of my busiest months as Karen. What, we tend yeah. to see a massive spike in, in January. January, February, March. And <laughs> it's when some people are saying, oh, now it's dead, is when we're selling loads. Because guess what? People are out buying bits for their RC cars, probably. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, and Welsh Wonders does actually ask that question. Do you see a spike in sales after, just after Christmas when someone has damaged their Christmas RC? Yeah, well, that's it. We so, do we do um, see... Yeah, we do see yeah. an increase after Christmas. We do. I mean, people... But I don't necessarily think it's because they've damaged the RC they've got for either. Christmas. I think these are just <laughs> people out buying for themselves again. Yeah. You know, just bef- the getting their cars ready for mm-hmm. the summer. You know, a lot of people are going to want to take their cars out when the weather's nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Not many people want to take their RCs out when it's raining, when it's muddy and it's cold. They tend to want to take them out in the spring, summertime. So what will happen is Christmas will finish. They will then be, you know, all that malarkey is over. They'll back to work and then they're going to be like, oh, I need to get my car ready for, mm-hmm. you know, I may as well fix it up and make it nice and new. So when the weather improves, we can take it out. So that's what yeah. well, that's what we see. But anyway, guys, this is a, a cool haul for a number of reasons. We didn't want to, 
as you know, we don't like to share too much RC because we don't bore you guys to death. Yeah, so we're not going to show you absolutely everything, everything yeah. because it is yeah. a bunch of parts. But, and but what's cool about it is it was an eBay find. Yes. It was an eBay pickup. Yes. Um, there was actually an auction um, sale that I won mm -hmm. um, on eBay. Um, and the cool thing is because I was able to go and collect, we got like thrown in an extra, extra box, box of stuff. Um, so yeah. you we paid two hundred and four boxes, right? Four boxes, but we got That's five boxes. boxes of stuff. Yeah, um, and we paid two hundred and five pounds for the whole lot, mm -hmm. which I think is a steal. Um, I think we'll do well out of that. Um, I'll show you what we've got. It's it it's this kind of stuff, really. This box. What do you want? What's what cool want? about this? The reason why I I was here for the RC was this guy was a seller of this stuff. Um, yeah. and he changed his business a few years ago and this stuff has been stuck in his loft and I knew that because the brand he's selling is very old um, so it's kind of just old stuff it's vintage RC mm -hmm. stuff not everyone's going to want this stuff but we've got nice bags here. we've got bags of pull starters so each of these pull starters is probably an easy £20 each um, because I've, I've checked these these pull starters run on other models as well not just this brand this brand's called like Edam like the cheese so um, like the cheese. yeah but but the, the pull starters also work on like other cars like HPI mm -hmm. and things like that yeah. so you know and it's all nicely bagged up for us yeah um, which is really and that's, the, yeah. that's the cool thing about this haul actually we didn't obviously know this before you purchased it but the guy has actually done a lot of sorting so yeah, he it's not going it to be all. too much sorting yeah. for us he sorted it all out for us so there's like a little pull starter pretty cool oh, but yeah there's it's literally boxes and boxes of it like four boxes uh, RJ <laughs> glad you could join us yeah thanks for popping in RJ <laughs> got a dash to the Doctor Who time with my son hope you enjoy Doctor Who with your son um, so oh gosh oh Right. Loads and loads of parts here. More pull starts with black back plates, all sorted out as well. Um, shock spring holder things. So these go, yeah. The, yeah, these hold shock. And so the the boxes are roughly about this size, and there's like four of them full of parts. Like we've got some shock springs as well. <coughs> I mean, th these boxes are full. I mean, each box is rammed with parts, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just it's full. Yeah, so those were the four that we purchased, weren't they? Yeah. Two speed shafts. Can you see I'm trying to move him on from showing you everything in the box? I'm trying here. <laughs> <laughs> any um any vintage wheels and tires? Yes, vintage vandal. There are actually. Oh actually vintage vandal, I do have some wheels that you might be interested in for your Tamiyas. Um on our store we've got these um we've got these really cool um um what are they called again oh gosh mickey thompson um baja um branded vintage wheels um and they're the ones which use the um they've got like just the the round hole so they're just bearings on either side so there's no hex in them so um that's that's definitely something you might want to check out because i've had people buy those to use on their tamias um, so um, vintage vandal. If you want to check that that out, you can. But yes, yeah, so I've got some cool wheels actually. Mm -hmm. the, the, this, the reason why I went for this brand is this brand made high performance nitro RCs, um, and these are the, the, the on road nitro cars. And these tires are so epic. I mean, these would fit like a serpent RC as well. That are really nice tires. It's got a whole box of these tires. I mean, these are going to be worth good money, I reckon. Yeah. Um, tires and wheels, tenth scale, like that. Um, you know, definitely. A question, are there any good RC vehicles I can <laughs> bid on? So she's at, well, she's at, I've got this giant speedboat. I don't know if you saw that. It's got a petrol <laughs> engine. You can take it out on the, on the river and race it around. Sounds amazing, actually. Sounds amazing. I did actually run a little... Um, video about it ow stop licking that ow you're such a bad un. i did actually run a little video about it um you know let me just stop <laughs> okay let me just um uh, da -da -da -da. there we go window capture um 
can. You're gonna so. mess everything up, man. No, I'm not gonna mess anything up. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna share share with, share with them. Um, uh, is it video capture div display capture? There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Um, let me just see if I can show you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit noisy. Hold, hold on, guys. <laughs> Let me just show you this. Hey, guys, Shazad, you can bid on this if you want. Let me just turn the volume down a bit so it's not too loud. There you go. <laughs> Sounds so good. No? I was just, just running the end. Man, it's epic. <laughs> okay, well, I thought that was pretty cool anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Rip fellow headphone users. I know, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, sorry, guys. I didn't realise it had come out super loud. <laughs> um, Vintage Vandal says, I think saw that lot on eBay. Yes, it was really cool, Vintage Vandal. I really, really love it. Um, so, um, question. Are you aware of any UK-based programmes which allow us to post to multiple platforms at once? Um, no, Donna, I, not any that I would trust. Um, I'm always wary of, of all in ones. Um, it's just one of those things. Um, I was only listening, not watching, and I heard Alf stop flicking that to Barry. He was licking the mic. <laughs> Beck, Beck fit that boat, no. No, no. Um, wow, this noisy little thing. Yeah, yeah that, that is really noisy. It, it was a lot louder than you know. It was loud. I mean, yeah. it's a two-stroke engine. Um, it's super loud. At Crington Stanley says Vintage Vandal. Um, I'm not sure. It may have been. <laughs> um, my ears are bleeding. Sorry about that. Oh, that I think Vintage Vandal said. I think I saw that lot on eBay. Uh, was it in Accrington? I can't remember. I, don't it, know. I thought it was somewhere near Bolton or something. It I don't wasn't know. Far from. Yeah, I think that it. sounds right. Accrington. It could have been Vintage Vandal. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dad, the um, bloke. <laughs> So he's trying to use his boat on the patio. <laughs> um, it was about an hour. I think it was about an hour's drive each way, Karen. About yeah. an hour. I, I just under. It was about 45, yeah. 50 minutes each way, I think. Something along those lines. Right. So, yeah. Anyway. But th there was a whole bunch of it. Um, the one other thing in there that's really cool is I also... The fifth box I got, which was kind of crazy, I got a whole box of this fiberglass tape as well. <laughs> It's just like, this is to fix up bodies and things, but still, you know, there's a whole bunch of that. There's like a whole box of it. That was just, that's going to uh, be all Dave, profit. it won't fit in the bath. Can I see that boat in the bath? Yeah. I've got smaller boats which would fit in the bath. Yeah, it but, wouldn't fit in the bath. But no, that's my favourite one. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. So um, overall, we're really happy with that. Yeah. I hope we didn't bore you too much with our It's going to be easy to list and because it's all pre-sorted. Um, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, <laughs> we've been going for nearly. Uh, actually, it is hitting an hour now. Oh, okay, and we've got an uh, early start in the morning. We have got an early start. Yeah, it's our daughter's sixteenth. Well, she was sixteen she this was week. Sixteen. Um. So Wednesday was. Yeah, it? sixteen Wednesday, on Wednesday. She so 16, so we we're taking, taking her out tomorrow. Um. So um. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. We've got an early start, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, oh Mr. Grumble, huh? Okay. That was a bit of a moan, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah. The £35 shipping killed it for me. Otherwise, I was going to bid. Great pickup. Some great stuff there, says Vintage Vandal. Yeah. Oh, it, it's, yeah, I'm, it's really good. I mean, the yeah. fact that I was able to collect it um, and the fact that... 
you know, this I got the hot, so much stuff. I'm really happy yeah. with it. So I mean, you yeah. me you messaged him, didn't you? Yeah. You just said, "Can I come and collect it?" Yeah. Um, and he was willing to do that, so we, you know, it worked out well for us yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, Bex is trying to close the I show. I am, Dave. Yeah. I am. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you guys in the next chat. Yes. Um, thank you for joining, thanks for joining us. us. Thank you for spending your Friday night with us. We love it. Yeah. Bye. Bye.